Um, so uh, this is week four of uh, my poetry vlog series, and uh, it's a good one. It's an exciting week uh, for me um, because it's kind of a more uh, artistic pairing. I, I, I like to pair poems if I'm reading them uh, according to subject matter, maybe uh, have a co contrasting viewpoint shown or uh, possibly just a, a basic theme. And um, I think this week I have a, a really good one where it, it, where E. e. Cummings is writing about uh, about how the day that he experienced reaffirmed his life, or uh, re reaffirmed his faith in, in God and uh, and mine talks about the day I never experienced made me stop believing in that. And, and necessarily, that was my idol. Um, now, I mean, the, my poem's completely fictional. But I think there's some validity in it, uh, in that um, it, it's powerful. It's, it, it's got very good imagery. And it's tr it's true in the sense that fiction can be true, if you understand what I mean. Maybe I just sound pretentious, but um, I I really do believe in the uh, the validity the validity of both these poems, and I really enjoy it. So uh, I'm excited. You should be excited because we get to hear some E. E. Cummings this week, um, and E. E. Cummings is a fantastic poet, a wonderful poet, and um, so let's get it underway with I Thank You, God, for Most of This Amazing. And uh, for those of you who have read E.E. E. Cummings, you know that it's fucking hard. Uh, <laughs> because this punctuation is very experimental. So is his spacing, so is his syntax. And I know I'm going to mess up uh, around this, the end of the second stanza already. <laughs> So here we go. I thank you, God, for most of this amazing. I thank you, God, for most of this amazing day. For the leaping greenly spirits of trees and a blue true dream of sky and for everything which is natural, which is infinite, which is yes. I, who have died, am alive again today. And this is the sun's birthday. This is the birth birthday of life and love and wings and of the gay great happening, illimitably, earth. How should tasting, touching, hearing, seeing, breathing, any lifted from the know of all nothing, human merely being, doubt unimaginable you? Now the ears of my ears are awake. Now the eyes of my eyes are opened. Um, okay, so, uh... There's the first one, and it's it's really cool, really, really f just Walt Whitman-esque, I love everything poem, which I I have a lot of love for that kind of poetry. It's, it's very good. But now here's my, it's not an answer to it. I've written a poem similar to that poem also. Um, but I think today I want to contrast. It's all about contrasting in this episode, so... Uh, this is the county fair by myself. I never went to a county fair. I wanted to as a child because I saw them in movies and they looked fun and simple. That is to say, they looked like, uh, community in its most simple form. No fights, no grudges, no crying save for the very small children, and everyone got what they wanted. And to me, that, that was simple. Simple because everyone instinctively knew that that was the day where you behaved and were happy and full of joy. They just knew because they lived there in the county and that was as it had always been. And I, uh, <laughs> I used to ask my father, Daddy, how come we never go to the county fair? And he would reply absently, not even looking up from his book, We will someday, I promise. 
and the nights when there were fights and grudges and crying in my home. Those were the nights where I would lay awake with my father sitting by my bed and I would ask, Dad, when will we go to the county fair? And he would say, looking at me with wild and bloodshot eyes, soon. Don't worry, we'll go soon, and there'll be rides, and cake, and peaches, and sweet cream, and, and blackberries, so ripe their juices run down your chin, and s stain you everywhere, but, but that's the beauty of them, that's, that's okay. And there'll be funnel cake that smells better than any other food you've ever smelt in the entire world. And there will be singing, joyous singing, happy choir songs, and old spirituals and the like. And the blue angels will make a special appearance, just for us. Just for us. And the Ferris wheel, it won't be scary, it will be thrilling in the sky. It'll sparkle, the most brilliant of blues, with not a cloud in sight. And, and there will be... And he would go on. Those words were tender and calming to my ears, like vapor rub on my chest when I was a baby. And I cannot help but wonder now if they had not merely been for my benefit. Perhaps they had been for his. And I believed him, too. I believed everything you said. But I don't believe that now, of course not. As we grow older, people lose their faith in God or religion. Me? I didn't stop believing in God because I never sought comfort in him or her or whatever. And I still don't. No. I stopped believing in county fairs. <laughs> Which is to say, I stopped believing in humanity. No one acts that way, now. No, I know that. <laughs> now. Maybe they used to act like that, but I don't know. But people always fight and hold grudges and cry, and nobody ever gets what they really want. And they never take the time to sample the blackberries that burst in your mouth and run and dress to you in the most delicate and beautiful of stains. I don't believe in peaches and sweet cream, and I don't believe in blackberries and funnel cakes. I don't believe in them because no one does. And by that virtue, they don't exist. To me, that's the greatest tragedy of my time. All right. Thanks a lot. Uh, join me next week. I uh, should have some good, good poetry action for you. Uh, keep watching. Tell your friends. Rate it. Uh, you know, do everything you can. Support the arts. <laughs>